Okay, today we'll be cooking pancit bihon with canton. This is a, a traditional dish for Filipinos. I think we have inherited this from the Chinese uh, cuisine. So what you're gonna do is you have to boil your chicken cutlets or chicken thai. So you're just gonna have to put water in it. And make sure that the uh, chicken is drowning in the water. As you can see on the video. And just like that, you're going to boil it for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And as you can see here on the video, this is how it's going to look like once it's ready to be taken out of the water. And please do not throw the chicken water, that's really, really important. You will be using this sauce to soak your noodles later on. And once you're done with that, set it aside and then start chopping your vegetables. It doesn't have to be this small, it doesn't have to be that strip, it's bite size. Carrots and beans. And the cabbage should be a little bit stripped. Now this is the brand of the noodles you need to buy, nothing else, because otherwise the, 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 the taste will change. So get the super cute instead, don't worry about the other one. So the excellent and the super cute vermicelli noodles, cornstarch noodles. And this is how the cabbage looks like. So that one, a kind of strips. And that's what it looks like for the carrots and the beans. You also need to cut a onion and garlic. Garlic should be crushed and finely chops and onion will be uh, strips. Now this is how the chicken will look like after you uh, stripped it into bite size. And if you want to include the skin, do so. I did include the skin. You can remove it. And these are the brands that I use. Please make sure you use the same thing. Otherwise, it will change the taste. It's very, very important. Now this is the cooking time. So take garlic with until a little brown, add onion to them to translucent, add the bite-sized chicken meat. Alright, so first you have to saute the garlic first, and then the onion, and then you put the chicken in, and then this is what it looks like. You see if you can start seeing that the chicken has a little bit of brown in it. So that's good, that means it's a bit of nice to proper. So if you cover your wall, give it, a, give it a little bit of a hole or, you know, space to breathe. Don't put it completely cover it. So once it looks like this, you, have, you are ready to add the vegetables and the sauces. Now please go through the recipe when you're going to add the, beans, uh, the vegetables and the sauce. So I have also added in here, so please just follow it how you're gonna do the, all the sizes and everything, all the um, portions of the sauce you're doing the recipe. So then you just have to add, the, in this section let me just pause this. So this is where you have to, as per recipe, you have to put the three cups of chicken water, the one that you set aside where you boil the chicken. And then look into the recipe as well, how many portion of sauce you know, the, the size of the sauce that you will add into this water. So once it starts boiling, even if it's just slowly boiling, that's fine. Now you start to soak the super cute noodles first. Inside the super cute noodles, there's four pieces of black dried noodles. So just add two and then soak it in a little bit. So once you see that the water already, the water was absorbed already by the noodles, it's okay if it's not soft yet, you can add the excellent uh, other noodles okay so this is what's gonna look like and on this in this part I've already added the super cute excellent noodles the other kind then I'm just really waiting to, to be soaked to uh, absorb all the water and in due time just make sure it's in low heat and then it will start to slowly absorb all the water if there's still anything a little bit of sauce just like this it's okay continue doing that could just continue making sure that the noodles is soft let me just pause that a little bit and that's where the vegetable is now before you add the vegetable just make sure that the uh, noodles is soft like that if there's still a little bit of a uh, lump or a little bit of uh, 
togetherness on the noodles just add a little bit more of water from the chicken water like another half a cup and then wait till it's absorbed and then once you're happy and it looks like the one in the video then you can add all the vegetables that you have set aside okay and that's what it is and then you just gotta have to mix it and you're almost done if you you can use two a uh, spoon or a cooking spoon to mix them. I use the other one with like a frog in it. Uh, frog in it. There you go. So this is good for uh, at least, you know, if you're not eating much, like at least five to seven people. But if you like noodles like me, probably like four to five. Um, yep, just see I'm using the spoon with the frog, so just mix them together and then add two tablespoons of lemon, but if you're not too keen on lemon, one tablespoon would be good. But I do put here a, uh, at least two tablespoons and then I mix it as well. So I'll be putting the lemon pretty soon. And making sure everything is well blended and then you go. So I just tablespoon of the lemon in there and uh, one and a half tablespoon it's up for you so I prefer that kind of lemon and then I'll mix it again we just have to mix it again and once that's done um, yeah, you can then turn off the stove and it's ready to serve now I like eating my pancit with uh, another lemon like I add more lemon on my own plate and a little bit of pepper if you don't want it then it's okay that's it, you're done. Happy cooking!